I'm not dead, you try to kill me I'm not dead, you didn't believe me But I'm still here I'm still here I'm not dead, you try to kill me I'm not dead, you didn't believe me But I'm still here I'm still here It's a llama, it's a llama It's a llama, it's a llama It's a llama, it's, it's a llama it, It's a llama uh -huh. No, it's not a llama It's a llama How you could just give me something When you mention medication, people do just lose their attention. You call me crazy, but you were just being lazy. I was trusting the doctor. I never heard of this pill. He said he gave it to old ladies still. He could have just... Type in lorazepam, valium, benzodiazepine, you know, uh, clonopin, clonazepam, tamazepam, there's lots of pams. You know, it's just, it's there. Wikipedia, you can just look at Wikipedia and it's, it's all there. So you put your blind faith in these people. He said I needed it to sleep, so I followed him like a little lost sheep. He said six months of constant use, I didn't know that was drug abuse. Sleep got worse, I wasn't myself My thoughts weren't mine, I started to pace all the time Hi, doctor, uh, I, I just had tinnitus and, and now I feel really, I don't feel like myself anymore Yes, so um, you can just stop taking it Yes, absolutely safe Just stop taking it Days go by Suddenly you're hit This feeling so indescribable This feeling is undeniable Terrifying Your brain is basically frying Tapering? Withdrawal? No, sorry, um... This is clearly underlying mental health issues coming to the surface Yeah, no, mental health issues But doctor, there's all these people online We've been like this for a long time. You know, do you want to know what it's like on Benzo's bench? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Do you want to know what it's like on Benzo's bench? I didn't sleep the best part of a year Body pumping with this unnatural fear Told it's you and there's nothing anyone can do It's benzo withdrawal No one cares Akathasia Psychosis There was no diagnosis She could be bipolar Schizophrenic Personality disorder God, so tragic I just know it's this pill that's making me ill It's nothing new, even Eric Clapton knew Jordan Peterson, Stevie Nicks, and there's only to name a few God, She's clearly just got really bad anxiety She's always been a bit dramatic Sensitive child, a little bit wild Very good imagination There's imagination and there's reality then there's what happened to me Is it cause I'm young and some say pretty You couldn't take me seriously Or is it the pharmaceutical industry He's rolling in the money Detached from any responsibility Is it about the money? Or is it about the money? Is it about the money? Okay, I don't normally swear, but f 
It's been like this since the 60s How could I have let you trick me? Quickly labelled insane You can't even complain It's like I'm burning but I'm not lit And eternal torture I just keep getting hit Relentless suffering, suing pain Crazy shit going on in my brain Until you've been through it you just think she likes to complain. I'm not dead, you try to kill me. I'm not dead, you didn't believe me. But I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm not dead, you try to kill me. I'm not dead, you didn't believe me. But I'm still here. I'm still here. Psych ward after psych ward. Pace the halls, no one's coming to get me. Unimaginable abuse, nurses on the loose. Those places, sadists, rapists. Emma, you're in the best place for you. They're gonna take care of you. It's so easy to not believe me. What's wrong with her then? I, we think that she's a bit of a drug addict. Waste of space, in my opinion. Can someone help me? I can't see. I, I can't, actually can't see. No, don't lock the door. Why are you leaving me in here? Don't just leave me in here. It's your anxiety, Emma. It's your mental health. You're clearly very, very unwell. You're in the best place for you, darling. They're gonna take care of you. You wanna die, you dream of suicide Weeks turn into months, months into years You cry all your tears This is a world people keep under the radar It's gone too far A secret it seems Bursting up scenes Silent epidemic Shh. Let the millionaires get richer. Let's all stand and smile for a picture. Come on, smile. Smile. Innocent people's lives. Many have died. Not many have trodden this path and survived the aftermath. Many don't make it past. But I'm not dead, you try to kill me. I'm not dead, you didn't believe me But I'm still here I'm still here I'm not dead, you try to kill me I'm not dead, you didn't believe me But I'm still here Hi, my name is Jenny and I was prescribed in benzodiazepine after having an adverse reaction to Boost Bar. I'm from the Netherlands. I was prescribed fluorazepam for insomnia and tinnitus. Just been stuck in my house, mostly on the floor for the last 22 months. I would say within a few weeks, felt like I needed to come off it. I didn't like the feeling of being drugged up and I think intuitively I just knew that something, something didn't really sit right. Echosthesia, terror, extreme fear. Severe internal agitation. I've been in withdrawal for two years now. I tapered it for about 18 months and I've been off now for three. I tapered in what I believe to be tolerance withdrawal after being incorrectly switched to a longer acting benzodiazepine at a dose that was not equivalent. I was completely non-functional for about seven months and I lost my job. I'm still tapering. I will die free if I have to. I will get off the meds. Um, I'm on really low doses, but I have at least three years to go and I've already been tapering five and had akathisia for almost two years. I couldn't 
uh, function normally for, uh, yeah, best part of half a decade. Grand mal seizures, psychosis, pathological insomnia. I had no idea what was happening until I found the online support groups. My doctor also didn't know what was going on, so I stopped talking to her about it. Cognitive decline, loss of executive functioning, inability to perform basic daily tasks. I spent most of that time indoors, needed 35 ambulances. Agoraphobia, inability to connect to anybody on any level. I thought I was going to slip into psychosis every day just rocking on the floor back and forth all day long. My most prominent symptoms were air hunger, extreme weight loss after my digestion completely shut down for about two months. I had akathisia that left me pacing for hours and sometimes days at a time. Thank God I have a supportive partner. <laughs> and dogs, dogs have kept me alive. Very little support, well zero support from medical professionals really. Uh, I had one say to me, we've poisoned you, but there's nothing we can do about it. Complete isolation, loss of family and friends. Yeah, just been trying to figure out a way to heal and... I just keep thinking, I'm 52 now, if this lasts till I'm 58, I can still have like some good golden years. And that's the only way I can look at it. Electrical jolts and vibrations in the body, insomnia, head pressure rebuild life however I can. I know I can never take antibiotics or have chemo so I don't get mammograms anymore. I don't get checked for cancer because I can't treat it. It would feel like your brain sort of caving in on itself and you were gonna die. Um, it's probably the simplest way to put it. Memory loss, short and long term, loss of career and independence. Having to be careful with avoiding things that could compound the, the situation and make things worse as you go, whether that's other medications or stress or lack of sleep. I had severe nerve pain in my ears, my teeth, and all over my body, as well as burning pain everywhere. Suicide ideation and urges, gas lighting, lighting and trauma. It's a long journey, but I guess to leave on a positive note, um, I definitely feel better than I do a couple of years ago. I couldn't, I couldn't even sit in the room with people that I knew. My brain couldn't handle it. I had SI, exercise intolerance, POTS-like symptoms, depression, fear, noise sensitivity, and tinnitus. The list goes on, but... But the brain is quite a remarkable organ and healing has definitely happened more so over time symptoms have improved significantly. I really believe that benzodiazepine prescribing practices need to change. This has taken my life away from me. Right now. Right now, I'm alive but dead. So, um, I just want my life back. I can't take it.